you have seen to my books? Yes. Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. It's a long way home, no? Much to see along the way. Thank you, Mentor. Here. This may be of use one day. No. Only if you lose your way. You should go. Be back just after dark. <laughs> you should have stayed home. I am home. We will be right over here. Al diavolo! I hate this damn city. I wish I was in Rome. I hear the women there are... Hmm... Like ripe Sangiovese on the vine, you know? Not like here, Firenze. <laughs> I don't think Firenze is your problem. Prego? <laughs> Coraggio, vecchio. Get some rest, huh? <sighs> mm. 
When I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, in the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into containment. Love, liberty, and time, once so disposable, are the fuels that drive me forward. And love, most especially, mio caro. For you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing. Endless affection, Mia Sofia. Forever yours, Ezio Auditore. Match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage, all noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? 
to ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all return. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't! It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us! We'll find another way! There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. <laughs>